This patient walks into my clinic, his hazel colored eyes gleaming with the allure of genetic artistry, captivating and rare, at least in the Indian population. Yet as he removes his cap, the reality of a Norwood grade 6 oh unfolds itself, revealing the less glamorous side of his genetic inheritance. And this juxtaposition, the good genes vis vis the bad genes, sets the stage for us today for a deeper exploration into the complexities of genetic inheritance. While hazel eyes are polygenic in inheritance, influenced by multiple genes that contribute to melanin distribution in the iris, male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia as we may like to call it, is a multifactorial condition. It involves the interplay of genetic predisposition, particularly variations in the androgen receptor gene, and on the other hand, susceptibility of the follicles to DHT. And the irony here is palpable. The same genetic lottery that bestowed upon him his mesmerizing eyes dealt him a challenging hand in the hair department. And this is a vivid illustration of how genetics can both be a benefactor and a trickster. And as we delve into the mechanisms of hereditary hair loss, let's cover how these genetic factors converge, leading to progressive miniaturization of hair follicles. Let's also discuss the current understanding of inheritance patterns, the role of maternal and paternal contributions, and the implications for predicting and managing hair loss. So let's embark on the journey through the genome where beauty and baldness often share the same double helix. The inheritance of traits like hazel eye color and advanced male pattern baldness is governed by complex polygenic mechanisms rendering precise predictions challenging. Hazel eye colored is a polygenic trait and results from the interplay of multiple genes with at least 16 identified to influence eye color. These genes regulate melanin production in the iris. Hazel eyes typically exhibit a moderate amount of melanin, leading to their characteristic greenish-brownish appearance. The inheritance pattern does not follow simple Mendelian rules. Thus, predicting hazel eyes in offspring is complex and cannot be determined solely based on parental eye color. On the other hand, male pattern baldness is not dictated by a single gene, but results from the cumulative effect of numerous genetic variants. Genome-wide association studies have identified over 250 independent loci on the chromosomes which are linked to male pattern baldness, including significant regions on the X chromosome and autosomes. The androgen receptor gene located on the X chromosome, which, which we mostly inherit from our mother's side, plays a pivotal role in male pattern baldness. Variants in this gene can increase the sensitivity of hair follicles to DHT. DHT, which is a metabolite, a derivative of male hormone testosterone, and this leads to follicle miniaturization and eventually hair loss. However, this AR gene is just one piece of the jigsaw puzzle, as many other genes contribute to the condition, to the manifestation of male pattern baldness. Studies have uh, indicated the heritability of male pattern baldness to be approximately 80% underscoring the significant genetic contribution to this trait. Now, how do you predict whether you're going to be bald or not? It's very difficult. Polygenic risk scores come in handy. PRS aggregates the effects of multiple genetic variants to estimate an individual's predisposition to male pattern baldness. While they offer insights, their predictive accuracy is moderate and they cannot definitively determine whether an individual will develop male pattern baldness. And then we come on to genetic testing. Commercial genetic tests can identify variants associated with male pattern baldness, providing information on possible risk. However, these tests have limitations, including varying accuracy and the inability to account for environmental factors that also influence hair loss. In the realm of genetics, predicting the inheritance of complex traits like male pattern baldness remains a challenge. While advancements in genomic research have enhanced our understanding, the interplay of multiple genes and environmental factors complicate precise prediction. And as the saying goes, genetics loads the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. Therefore, while genetic predisposition plays a significant role, lifestyle and environmental factors are also crucial determinants in the manifestation of male pattern baldness and also in the treatment of androgenic alopecia. I've also covered this topic in this live stream, a link to which is above. Please go through that. More information about the interplay of genetics and environment. And if you have any questions about male pattern baldness, androgenic alopecia, about hair transplant, hair transplant in India, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. But if you want a personalized consultation for a hair transplant, contact us on the WhatsApp numbers given above. Have a nice day and God bless you.